All right, baby. One month anniversary here in my new lot. Nice and shady. And uh, I started cleaning this thing out last week. You can see this size where I just threw everything in here. And then last week I pulled all this out and built this little work table bench type thing, my jiggy. And uh, right over here, got my carbs soaking. And I'm gonna set this up, you know, for my outboards. All right, I think that's gonna work for now. And uh, go through these parts, keep what I want, trash the rest, start sorting through this crap, get this puppy in shape. Alright, so I just turned the carbs over. They've been soaking for a couple few days. And like I say, see that brass right there? Look brand new. And the, the aluminum comes out the same, but it's not quite, you can't, you know, really see how different it really is. But it's clean. Alright, let's get started on these carbs, getting these things back together. And I'm going to show you what I do every time I do do, or not every time, I've, I've taken it, you know, for granted a few times thinking, oh, look how clean that thing is. I don't have to do nothing. And I got screwed on that 89, 25 horse tracker. I had two carbs I was fooling around with. They both looked excellent. Well, as it turned out, the first car, slow speed, clogged up. Swapped it around. Second car, high speed, <laughs> clogged up. <laughs> because I looked at them just like with these. I said, man, they look great. Never assume anything. So first of all, darling, let me show you. Like I've been saying, that mix, and it's just not the mix, I think it's just the DSTP. But look at that brass. Now go back and look that other video before and after. Because I done deleted it. But you can find it. Can't tell me that ain't ain't pretty. Alright, got my gloves on. I picked up this tub. Because I'm gonna you know spray everything off in here which I probably should spray it off in here first rinse it's just carb cleaner get all the poo poo off and then whatever I spray off in here I can pour it in there and I'm gonna save my mix So I'm going to spray this puppy out, here's your fuel in, get that sprayed out, and a lot of times I'll stick a Q-tip right down in there and wipe that out, because that's where the needle seats, and sometimes you'll get residue stuck in there. I like to use the carb cleaner for starters. And then final rinse, the brake parts cleaner because it tends to dry up quicker. It's all pretty good. And like I've been saying, with this, uh, look at this stuff is just melting these gloves. With this mix and soaking, it's hard to see the difference in the aluminum but trust me there is a difference not only is it getting you know the dirt and crap off it's it's shining it up like it does on the grass but it's just not a big contrast all right i probably should have taken this stuff out to begin with but i didn't that day not a big big deal and there's your high-speed orifice. This is where it comes up, sucks up in the motor, 
if that puppy squall, you ain't gonna get your high speed. And up in here, the top, normally in the old motors, the needle goes in here. Well, they replace that with an air bleed valve. And you're supposed to have a special screwdriver, but I've taken them out before with no special screwdriver. Boom. There's your little bleed. Now you can hold these things right up to the light and see right through them. A little round hole. And if you can't see it, through it, it's dirty. This is the top. The carburetor's turned upside down. Right here is one, two little holes. So what I do is I just spray a little bit of and you see how it causes that puddle and you see how fast that drained. That means it's clean. Now if I had left that air bleed in there, you can see it going right in the holes. If I left that air bleed in there, let me turn it up a little bit more level. So it could look like it might have been running down out the front. Okay, there's my puddle. You see how fast it's draining through those holes. Boom. That's your low speed. Now if I left that air bleed, little valvey, orifice-y thingy, in there would have done a little bit slower. But if you spray your carb cleaner in there, and it puddles up and don't move, you're going to have idle problem and, and slow speed problem. So, got my piece of wire in there, and it doesn't take much, just poke it in there, and wiggle it around, pull it out, and do the other hole, like that, stick it in there, wiggle it around. Now, like I said, those wires on that kit work real good, they're a lot more rigid than this thing. This is just a piece of old cable, like I said, stainless steel cable, and doesn't work as great but you get the idea and you flush it out cuddle it up and watch how fast it runs out and I'd say that's about about the right speed and you know you can get your Nozzle right in there and blow some through, puddle it up, and it just drains out them holes. But it comes out where your slow speed needle is, which now has been replaced with the air bleed. And you really don't want to shoot your spray, your carburetor, this way. You know, you want stuff to come out this way because you could be shooting stuff up in there and, and making it worse. So again, I'll hold it up here, put a little puddle in there, and boom, comes running right out, right out through there. I think you should have been able to see all of that. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, like I said, it looks great on the screen here, but man, it is just dark out here. Again, puddle it up and watch it run out. And boom, and it's coming out right out the front. Now, I know that's clean. And then a little extra, that's the, char the uh, choke cleaner, carbon choke cleaner. And give it the old brakes parts cleaner. Like I said, put the nozzle right in there and shoot it. You got no wire. I've even used on some of these, used a super small paper clip. One of them tiny little paper clips fit in some of these here it comes right out the front so that boom there's my, my 
a slow speed cleaned out and up top here where the needle seats that's the other important part and I have to take a q-tip stick it down in there now you gotta twist it and I know these hairs will get caught up and stuff but not seriously once it's wet and twisted it stays together pretty good twist it around and then twist it out and you can see that one's clean as a whistle all right so my opinion this is a clean car get all the grime off the outside and like I said see that brass how nice that brass came out and the aluminum is the same way but the aluminum just doesn't have that much of a you know effect and color change as that dirty old brass was all right so now <laughs> high speed high speed orifice baby in the bowl. Let me spray this out. And I'll show you what I'm talking about, what I do. And a lot of people, you guys know this, and some of you guys don't. Just getting started and not real sure. Or you get stupid like me and just assume, oh man, that thing clean as a whistle putting it on forget about it never assume anything with these things all right so here's your plug goes in here which is just a drain plug now let's see if we can get up in there now what I used to do but I'm too far away right now <laughs> is take a few steps in the sunshine and hold this thing in the, so the sun would shine right straight down and you look through there and it's like looking through a camera lens you see a perfectly round hole but what I'm going to try to attempt today ladies and gentlemen is shining a flashlight in there Let's see if I can get a little bit higher come on baby I think that might work right there. Take the flashlight. See that perfectly round hole? The light coming through? That's your high speed. Now if it doesn't look perfectly round or it's clouded and and you know you can't see through it, then that baby's dirty. Let's try it again. Boom. Perfectly round. It's like looking at the sun. That's probably about as sharp as I'm going to get it. But you'll see it with the naked eye. Close up. Perfectly round. Clean. Hole. Boom. Another. Clean bowl, baby. That's it, man. That's a clean carb right there. Those are the two most important things. And, uh, of course, forgot what you call this piece here. Where the gas comes sucking through but i'm confident see if we can get a little gas in there and see if it'll drip out i mean a little spray don't want to force it in there which i'm sure it's already clean but you can see it dripping out and i think we good to go so let me get my air bleed gently back in now any of these brass fittings I don't you know in the old days I'd try to tear them everything out you know I don't even mess with it anymore because it, it, it can do more damage than good all right she's in she's snug so this puppy's ready to go back together
Yeah, I mean, people think cleaning a carburetor is like, oh no, I don't know how to do that. I don't know, ding, ding, ding. I ain't messing with that. Dee, dee, dee. It ain't no big deal. Ain't no big deal. And these motors, man, they're easy to work on. It's, you know, what I used to say. It's just a big weed eater with a cooling system. All of this, big weed eater with a cooling system. Same thing. Then, got the old float to set. Now there's measurements for that thing if you want to look them up. But normally, 9 out of 10 times you don't need to mess with it. But sometimes you do. And I think it's about an inch, three quarter inch to an inch drop. But I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I looked one up. And they may differ from, you know, horsepower to horsepower. Get my needle in there. I'll show you what I'm talking about, baby. Alright, so this, was this the one? No, this one's pretty level. So you want that float perfectly level with the carb. And that one looks good. If I can see it from back here, looks good. Then on the drop, you measure it. Like I said, about three quarter to an inch, and a, you know, somewhere around there. The thing is, when this bowl is on there, it should not be laying on the bottom. So you can pretty much guesstimate where that thing should be. And with the gasket on, I think it's right on the money. Alright, there's carb number two. So I'm going to do the same thing, carb number one. All right, real quick, just wanted to show you again the brass, how beautiful that looks. That's the uh, number one carb, getting ready to put it back together. And never have I used anything that turned this brass that clean from just a couple days, a few days soaking. Never. I've never seen any, anything do that. So that baby's clean. All right, let me show you on this one real quick. Now, I wasn't getting anything coming out here. I held this puppy up to the bleed and blew through. So what I did was I stuck my finger in there and covered up the two little holes. So I had back pressure. That was shooting out a second ago, hold on. Uh, I'm out, change over to the car cleaner. Anyway, it was coming out, but I think that can is just out. But I wasn't getting anything. Put my fingers in here to cover up the holes at the top, the slow speed holes. Put it right on there. There it goes, it's shooting out. All right, I wasn't getting anything. Now you can do that too. Compressed air, and uh, I'm gonna shoot some back in this way too. Go back and forth with it a couple times, make sure it's coming out good. All right, real quick, I'm about out of battery. I did it back and forth a couple times, watch this. Ooh, now she's blowing. That's what I say, man. It looks good, but never assume anything. Oh, yeah, baby. You know the channel.